Uh, this is Success with Adam. And Real Solid Snake. And we're just waiting on the other two guys to get here. Z Leon 1 and Doc3825. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's Z Leon 1? Oh, that's my brother. That's your brother? That's my brother. Okay. Zombie nice. Apocalypse! I saved him! Yeah! Zombie got you, man! Zombie! You okay? Yeah, I'm just glad you didn't hit me. Thank you, brother. Bro, you here? Why? I'm here. Why? God, you're ridiculously overacting. Yep. Hold on. Uh, he guys, Zillion won. Uh, oh. Hey, Zillion. He has been rescued from a zombie apocalypse. He will be fine. I'm totally fine. Okay, just sit up now and I can get all this together. Okay. Uh, uh, this has got to be the first video in a long time since all three of us were together. Christmas, wasn't it? Fuck off. Christmas? Uh, yeah. Did we get together Christmas? Yeah, we did. The Christmas video. Remember, we rescued you from the Phantom Zone. Oh, yes. It felt like hell to me. Yes, it did. Yeah, it felt like hell for us as well. I know. Uh, so, basically, Why okay, this video, time? we're here to talk about the movie based on a video game that has absolutely nothing to do with the video game. Except for the fact that Spen you know, Spencer Mansion at the top, we're meant to believe that. And you know, the zombies, and the umbrella, and the liquors, and uh, the guns. That's about it. And Wesker. Wesker isn't in it. Wesker's Wesker is not in it. <laughs> Why did you even mention that? Sure, you, do. you know what? You're you're about the yeah, you can leave. Just can leave. Just kidding. Hi, Gileon1, thank you for coming. Fuck yeah. <laughs> So anyway, if you haven't caught on, we're looking at the Paul uh, Paul Anderson clusterfuck known as Resident Evil. And you know the thing about this movie I really enjoyed is basically how it does you know open up just straight action. You know after you know the boring bit about the naked, mm. straight action people bust in and uh, you know straight train downstairs. It does follow a bit you know it's zombie apocalypse style movie. We do like that kind of bit. And there's mysteries to solve and things, so... Yeah, the, it actually is a mystery for the film. Who started the, the the infection? Who kicked off the virus outbreak? It's a mystery or something. The movie sucks balls! Well, that is also very true. But it's probably... No, but... Because I can just say, okay, right, like, when you get visual effects like this on the monsters, okay, this is really asking for something, okay? If you're going to do a big-budget movie, right, of a, of a very successful video game, ask for more money! Honestly! Yeah, they, they gave them some money, like, what, they couldn't afford to spend more money, like, on some cheap, shoddy visual effects, like, ugh. Not only that, like, you know, uh, the, the scene where they're all getting uh, laser sliced and everything, right, that, it, it leads you off for a few months thinking that one of them was going to survive at least, and then it kills off the other guy anyway. Yeah, the only guy we actually liked him on yeah, the yeah, well, to be fair, like, one of those characters were the literally cannon fodder. No, but what I'm trying to say is, right, is that that guy, he was able to dodge them, he was like, moving oh, yeah. around them. Yeah. And then in the end, it kills him anyway. It's like, well, it was like, it was like, it was teasing us. It was just like, yeah, yeah, you want him to live? You want him to live? Well, fuck you, you can't have him. Well, you know? to be fair, you know why they killed him. Because he's the only guy that would have kept a fucking level head in the situation. And probably would have got everyone else out alive. It wasn't because of the fact that he was black, was it? No, oh, let's, oh, let's, uh, let's not do that race thing, that's... Oh, hey, 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 not racism, but I know, he was, I know he didn't die first, but, you know, it's like, yeah, have a black guy there, kill him as well, you know, just yeah. come on a thing, you know? Uh, it could be because he's bald. I'm not bald, see, if you look closely, I've got some hair. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> But anyway, the film, of course, just follows the viral, it's the viral outbreak in an underground, more or less, city. The thing is, the fucking location is meant to be huge, uh, with a fuck ton of people around there. Again, working for the Umbrella Corporation, the evil, overarching, you know, character, or company yeah. archetype that has been used many a time. Okay, right, that's the one thing that uh, they brought in from the game, okay, I'll give it that, but, no, it doesn't... Doesn't save us. It's yeah, the that's... it's the only one of the Resident Evil films live action that could have tied in with the games if they had have kept it a wee bit bigger on the yeah. just overall thing. I think that's what else. Yes. Well, anyway, back to the whole plot. Of course, it leads into the once they get out of the hive, Umbrella reopens the fucking hive, letting the zombies and other creatures out, thereby kicking off events that could only be shown basically as 
Resident Evil 2. Please. Yeah, that's the thing. They do an alien. One survivor left, like, but carries on the fight. Yeah, but that's the, the point. Where he was mentioning earlier, let's go fit in alongside the Resident Evil games. Uh, they did ruin it with the ending in the next movie. Because, you know, when, I don't remember Mila Jovovich in Resident Evil 3 or 2. Was she was there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah she was kind of on the front cover. It's kind of hard the, not to notice that she's there. No, in games. the games, they didn't, uh, she didn't really oh. tie into the games as featured. Like, they could have kept on going alongside with them in a great But franchise. basically, in Raccoon City and Resident Evil 2, there's a million and one stories that could happen. I mean, let's face it, Claire Redfield and uh, yeah. uh, Leon Kennedy like, weren't the only ones who were fighting for survival in Raccoon City. Yeah, but I don't remember Mila Jovovich been fighting against us and winning. Plus, was that, I might have want to say that Wild Nemesis was, was kind of good looking, also looking at the fan of this as well. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I think we're. Uh, uh, it's more or less it, unless uh, you just have any current thoughts about the Resident Evil film. Worth the watch? Yeah, right? No. It's, that is worth the watch. Resident Evil, the first movie, worth the watch, the rest of you can cut it and miss and still be okay with that. Yeah. I just uh, say they're all a miss. I've had, to, I've had to be honest, I thought the sequel was actually superior to the first, but... Uh, I, think it's appreci- I, much- I think you appreciate it a bit more because you knew Raccoon City a bit. Yeah. But, yeah. again, I I don't really mind them. I enjoy them for what they are, which is not a lot. If you want like, But the if first you- one is one I could easily watch, because it's its own wee self-contained story. If you want to do something Resident Evil, play the games. Yeah. Except five. And watch five videos. No, basically everything from four onwards, basically stopping at four. Uh, let's well. let's just say we all like Resident Evil and go from there because I don't want to start a fight that you would lose. Resident Evil Four is the best. That we can agree. <laughs> I've been successful, Dale. Doctor Two Five. You saw Snake. Thanks and for watching. <laughs>